So let's take a look at this device and how it's built. What can it do? It can shoot a projectile attached to a rope. It can control the amount of tension on that rope in a beneficial way. It can wind that rope back up. It can charge a spring with elastic potential energy that can then be released once a latch is flipped so that the projectile can be released. Am I forgetting anything? It can control whether a spool that the rope is wound on is back drivable or non-back drivable. Back drivable in the case where the spool string needs to be pulled off of it and non-back drivable where the string needs to be wound back in. Am I making any sense? It can do a lot of different things, but how many actuators does it have? How many devices that translate electrical energy into mechanical energy? Just has two, just has two motors. So we have charging, we have releasing, we have um, winding, we have tensioning, and we have shifting. That's like five different functions that this device does with only two motors. And it does that because in designing this device, I recognize that some of these functions should be coupled. That coupling is easy to do when you have five different motors and you can do that all in code. That's easy, in my opinion. <laughs> but what's a lot harder is to say, because those are coupled, I can have a mechanical coupling and save a lot of weight and space and just have these two motors to do those functions.